Room anyway, maybe it's because I sealed it and locked the doors earlier. But there were mosquitoes in the main lounging area. Yes, so I woke up earlier and I put on my swimsuit because I was like, I am going to jump into this lake today without fail, right? And then there was a storm, it was literally story, storm. There was even a thunder, there was actually a thunder start and it was pouring so hard. So I just put on my Deadpool t-shirt. <laughs> put on my Deadpool t-shirt and jumped back into bed. You wanna know how many covers I'm under? And this is how many layers I slept under as well because this area is so cold. There's one, two, three, and a sheet. I slept under four layers and these extra ones belong to the other beds. It's because I'm the only one in this room, so that's been one advantage. But even then, even on the three, I was still feeling cold. I've even woken up with sneezing and stuff. I hope it doesn't turn into an actual cold. But now, it has stopped raining, so it's stopped raining for like the first hour, for an hour and a half. I'm just taking my time to get up of this bed, but it has to be done. Let's go and jump in that lake. I don't know why I'm procrastinating. It's because I know it's about to be super freezing. But sometimes you have to do things that make you uncomfortable. You know? The room has six beds. I never really stay in dorm rooms, but I mean, I'm the only one here. And it's okay because it's only 15 euros deep per night. And I get this whole space for myself. So my room is up there, you come down the stairs and that's the toilet and the bathroom. You're brushing your teeth here with that view. Yeah, so the pro is that brushing your teeth with that view, the con is that it's shared bathrooms and toilets and they're like a few feet away from the rooms. Hello Fari, Wendy Water here and right now I'm about to take a dip in Lake Brunyonyi which is apparently the second deepest lake in Africa after Lake Tanganyika which I'm going to be seeing next so it's drizzling now, it's actually been storming the weather isn't the best since I've been here but it's very green all around like the lake is at the center and then we just have all these hills green hills, green terraced hills in the surroundings so I'm about to go take a dip I bet the water is super cold because it's very very cold it's drizzling I don't know if you guys can see that um, 
but I cannot leave this place without getting in this water so it has to happen and I hear it's very deep even around where I'm at right now uh, let's do this It's super cold when you first go in but the more you stay in the water the warmer it gets and in case you're wondering there are no hippos no crocodiles in this lake they also don't have Bilhazia <laughs> hallelujah <sighs> I think we should go again really deep like even close to the even close to the camp it's about 20 meters deep in this area 20 meters right yeah it's over 20 meters 44 meters deep oh. so I could possibly swim further I'm just a bit like ah why get there and get stuck and tell you guys to send the boat to come and get me it's really nice such a refreshing dip like yeah it gets less colder the more you're in the water and the view from in there is even more insane because it's just 360 degrees all around beautiful view yeah. so that was Swimming in Lake Bunyoni. Yeah. Unlike swimming in the Indian Ocean, it's very gentle, very calm. There are no waves. Just a nice, gentle swim. So you could be here a while longer. Usually, when you're in the Indian Ocean, you're spending a lot more energy just swimming. So for accommodation, the place is super affordable, I find. They have the dorm rooms for about 15 USD per night. The lake house was for 25 USD. You can come with your tent and they have camping grounds. Um, I think that's about 8 or 10. Not sure, but the website will be linked below. Again, this is not a sponsored thing. I just came here because I wanted to check out this place after coming from Kampala. And it's really nice being here after the chaos in Kampala. Uh, this is very welcome no traffic no border borders just trees and the lake and the rain <laughs> now yeah so this right here is the lake house it was unfortunately booked when I came in I really wanted to stay there and the two ladies staying there are going to be are going to be in that house even after I leave so it's unfortunate but it's beautiful it stands on stilts and right above the water and this just goes for about 25 USD per night so the rates here are really affordable and I'm staying at Om Hostel in Bunyoni so I got here at 4 a.m. took a border border you take a border border 30 minutes to the shores of the to the banks of the river 30 minutes border border ride and then I hopped on a canoe 
I hopped on a speedboat. So that was another 15 minutes to get here. And I came here, it was still very dark. There was no light at all. So I feel like I missed out on a bit of a tour. Like I could have seen a lot of things on my way here because it's very scenic in this area. So if you can travel in the morning from Kampala and get here when it's still light outside, that would be ideal. Yes, getting here from Kabale town is roughly 35 Ugandan shillings or 30 Ugandan shillings and you can just get in touch with the guys who run the hostel and they'll negotiate and organize all that stuff for you and they're on whatsapp as well so so I'm here with Barnett so Barnett will be your host when you come to stay in this place so what um this area is it the Bachiga people? Bachiga people. Bachiga people that live in this yeah. surrounding community. So how do you say some words yeah. in the language here? Like how do you say hello? Hello, we say Agandi. Agandi. Yeah. So Agandi, that's hello. And then how does one respond? Uh, Nije. Nije. Meaning I'm okay. So if I say Agandi. Nije. Nije. Okay. Um. What else? What else do people need to? Uh, like maybe the disc way of greeting uh -huh. when you're saying like good morning good morning yeah here yeah, we say ole reje ole reje yeah ole reje then, is good morning then, yeah then you respond yego ah yego meaning i'm okay i'm okay ole yeah. reje yeah, yeah ole reje okay then ole like, reje uh, ole yego i know yego because we have uh, oh. someone called julius yego oh. <laughs> in kenya <laughs> okay so that's easy to remember uh, then like good evening mm -hmm. i say osibi reje Osibireje. 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 Then the reply is Yego. Yego. Osibireje. Yeah, meaning I'm okay still. So here people don't the say people don't say Ogambachi like no, in no, Kampala. Ogambachi is Luganda. Here, except here we say Ola Gambachi. How do you say? Ah, uh, Ola Gambachi. Ola Gambachi. Not Ola. Yego. <laughs> or Nije. <laughs> okay, thank yeah. you. Welcome. Bye, Bernard. <sighs> Ah, it was really lovely. Maybe. Can you imagine the lake itself is at 1950 meters above the sea level? Oh, oh wow! Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Well. And I remember in 2006, mm -hmm. the government brought 60,000 fishes and put them in a lake. Oh, then, they introduced fish? Yeah, then after three years, they uh, died. No, no, I eruption gas occurred from underground the lake. Uh -huh. Then you could easily find the fishes suffocating on the top of also they would die and float to the surface yeah also they survived except for the gu it's the gases that kills them so it's yeah, not yeah. about the lake it's not about the lake ah so remember this is a volcanic lake oh it's a volcanic lake yeah. ah interesting it is a volcanic uh, mountain the other side of the lake yeah oh that's interesting so this used to be like a big a big valley oh this used to be a valley yeah with a few sand there was a river crossing in between ah. so when volcanism took place yeah the magma came and broke the river then the water back flowed and the swamp was submerged by that water uh -huh. so it kept ah, and then it just spread it kept oh, on that's nice. the rainy water then it ended up being a lake so that makes sense because i was like it looks like we're in a bit of a valley like the hills around yeah. and this looks like it should be some valley but yeah like, and also like the formation on the hill is that why it was a, a because it's a volcanic lake like you know those steps like the terraces no, no, almost the terraces, the terraces, yeah. the terraces are done by the locals like for trying, farming okay. for farming trying to control so in the yeah. uh, what do people farm here mostly uh, mostly beans beans uh, bananas radishes bananas uh, yams uh, yams yeah. oh, okay okay cool